We're going to talk about the sprained ankle and the recommended orthosis for its treatment. This condition affects primarily the ligaments of the ankle joint and most frequently the external side. In a first grade sprain, the external side of the ankle swells and hurts, but there isn't instability. In a second grade sprain, there is more swelling and some difficulty to move the foot. The partial rupture of the ligament can cause residual instability. In a third grade sprain, we can see a major swelling and instability, and it's very difficult to move the foot. For the appropriate recovery of the ligament, it's important to avoid an unstable and restricted ankle. The sprained ankle is produced by a sudden movement of the foot, generally when it's in supination. Depending on the injury of the ligament, it can be first grade or distension, second grade or partial rupture, and third grade or total rupture. The type of sprain will determine the symptoms of the patient. The orthosis for the sprained ankle uses stabilizing systems and mobility limiters, depending on the grade of the injury. The immobilization is functional, but not rigid, allowing a better cicatrization of the ligament. It can be set with taping bandages or orthotic braces like this one. For placing the orthosis, it's important to tie up the laces to perfectly attach the orthosis to the ankle. Then, fasten the cross straps as part of the stabilization system that will help protect the joint. Then, fasten the straps in the upper part to tighten the crossed straps. This video was useful to explain this condition and I encourage you to share it. Thank you very much.